Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to download and set up Apache Kafka in a Windows machine. Well, once we set up Apache Kafka in a Windows machine, we'll also have some hands-on using Apache Kafka. Well, let's head over to the browser. I'm in a Chrome browser and in a new tab, just type Apache Kafka download and hit enter. And you can see the first link. So go ahead and click on this first link that is download Apache Kafka. So this will navigate to the Apache Kafka official website downloads page and here we have get started tab within that we have quick start link. So go ahead and click on this quick start link and just scroll down and here you can see the steps. So basically we are going to follow this step to install and set up Apache Kafka in a Windows machine. Well first step is like download the latest Kafka release. Well go ahead and click on this download link and here you can see we suggest the following site for your download. Well, go ahead and click on this link. So this will download Kafka as a tar file in a file system. Okay. Well, once the download completes, then go ahead and open this file in a folder. All right. And let's go and let's extract this tar file. And within this folder, you can see one more tar file. So let's go and let's extract this tar file as well. And there we go. We got a folder. Now let's rename this folder and let's remove these versions and let's keep the folder name is Kafka. Perfect. So let's copy this Kafka folder and you can keep this Kafka folder anywhere in a file system that you want. But I'm going to keep in a downloads folder. All right. And let me delete the main folder and let me also delete the tar file. Now we have a Kafka folder. Within a Kafka folder, we have important folders like bin, config, and libs. Well, let's dive into bin folder. And here you can see these are the sh files to support Mac and Linux. And these are the bat files to support Windows machine. Okay. So basically, in this lecture, we are going to install in a Windows. So we are going to use these bat files. All right. So these are the basically files which we can use to start the Zookeeper service. Kafka service and create the topic, start the producer, consumer. All right. So basically we are going to use these files to do all these Kafka operations. Okay. And in this lecture, we are dealing with the windows. So we are going to use these bad files. All right. Let's go back to Kafka folder again. And here you can see config folder within config folder. You can see all these properties files. Well, these properties files basically we use to provide a key value pair to the these files okay so these sh and bat files basically uses all the key value pair from these properties files okay let's go back to kafka folder again and here you can see lips folder within lips folder you can see all these java libraries well these are the jar files which required you know to the java application to work with the kafka okay so let's go back to kafka folder and you can see licenses folder it has all the licenses and you can see site docs so this basically contains all the documentation of apache kafka all right so these are the few important folders and files in a kafka folder now let's go back to our quick start page and next step is like start the kafka environment well once we download and extract kafka in our windows machine next we need to start the kafka environment well first we're going to start the zookeeper service and then we start Kafka server. Well, just remember before starting Kafka server, you have to start the Zookeeper server. All right. Well, if you can see the commands over here, so these commands basically supports Mac and Linux because you can see the SH file for Windows. We're going to use bad files. Okay. So just go ahead and open the Kafka folder in a file system. And here just select this path and just type CMD. So this will basically open a command prompt in a Kafka folder and let me maximize this and just type the command dot backslash. So remember you, we are using windows. So we have to use backslash. Okay. Don't use forward slash and then followed by bin and then within a bin we have windows folder. So just type windows. So just type wi and just press tab it will give the full name and then within a windows folder we have zookeeper 
zookeepers hyphen server hyphen star dot bat file so this is the file that we can use to start the zookeeper service okay followed by we need to use a properties file right we need to supply a key value pair to this bat file so all the properties files are located in a config folder right for example if we can go back to kafka folder in a file system all the properties file basically contains in a config folder right let's go back to command prompt and just type dot here so dot basically represents here current directory and then backslash and just config and then within a config folder we have zookeeper dot properties all right so just remember this command dot dot meaning the current directory so you know within a kafka folder we have bin folder right so here if you are using windows then make sure that you put dot here to represent the current directory followed by backslash bin followed by windows followed by backslash zookeeper hyphen server hyphen start dot bat and then we need to specify the properties file over here all right next hit enter so this will basically start the zookeeper service okay so in order to verify whether the zookeeper service is running or not you can see the port here 2181 okay it means that the zookeeper service is running successfully next we need to start the kafka server well let's go back to kafka folder in a file system and here just select this path and type cmd okay this will open a command prompt in the kafka folder let's maximize this and just type the command dot backslash bin backslash windows and then backslash and here just type the command kafka hyphen server hyphen start dot bat so this is the bat file that we are going to use to start the kafka server and then we need to provide the properties file right so all the properties files are located in a config folder so let's have a backslash here and then config and then backslash and just type server dot properties okay so this is the command that we can use to start the kafka server in a windows machine all right just hit enter and there we go well in order to verify whether the kafka server is started or not what you can do is you can just search the port 9092 well here you can see the port 9092 all right if there are no errors and if you find the port 9092 it means that the kafka server is started successfully all right now we have started zookeeper service as well as kafka server next what we can do is we can create a topic to store events in a kafka service well let's go to the kafka folder in a file system and let's go to this path and type cmd and this will open a command prompt in the kafka folder let's ma maximize this well in order to create a kafka topic in a kafka server let's type the command dot so dot represents a current directory followed by backslash and then bin backslash windows and then just you know call the file kafka topics dot bat so this is the file that we are going to use to create a kafka topic in a kafka server and then followed by create and then followed by topic and then followed by topic name let's give topic name something like topic hyphen example and then let's mention the kafka server url over here in order to do that let's type the let's type the property hyphen hyphen bootstrap hyphen server followed by the kafka server url that is localhost port 9092 all right so this is the command that we are going to use to create a kafka topic in a kafka server well basically i have listed all these commands in a notepad over here okay so i am going to attach these notes uh, in a lecture so that whenever required you can go ahead and use these commands all right now let's go back to command prompt and once you type this command to create a kafka topic hit enter well look at here create a topic topic hyphen example well once we create a kafka topic in a kafka server next we need to produce the events and we need to write that events in a kafka topic right so in order to do that we're going to use kafka producer kafka console producer dot bat file 
सो जस्ट टाइप द कमांड डॉट डॉट रिप्रेजेंट करेंट डायरेक्टरी फॉलोड बाय बैक स्लैश एंड देन बिन बैक स्लैश विंडोज एंड देन काप का हाइपन कंसोल हाइपन प्रोड्यूसर डॉट बैट सो दिस इज द फाइल दैट वे आई वॉन्ट यूज टू क्रिएट द प्रोड्यूसर टू प्रोड्यूस द यू नो इवेंट्स ओके एंड राइट दैट इवेंट्स टू द काप का टॉपिक फॉलोड बाय टॉपिक नेम इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू राइट द इवेंट्स हाइपन हाइपन टॉपिक एंड द टॉपिक नेम इज टॉपिक हाइपन एग्जाम्पल एंड देन जस्ट मैंशन द काप का सर्वर यू आर एल हियर बूस्ट रैप हाइपन सर्वर एंड देन लोकल होस्ट कोलन नाइन जीरो नाइन टू एंड हिट एंटर well here you can see we got a cell to write the event to the kafka topic just create some event here so i am going to create some string let's say hello world hit enter so let's insert one more one more event in a kafka topic for example let's say kafka topic event hit enter so if you want to insert you can basically insert any number of events that you want for example let's say demo 1 demo 2 all right so once we insert the events in a kafka topic we we need to consume those events right so in order to exit from this cell just enter i mean just press control c and then say yes next we need to read these events from the kafka topic right in order to do that let's type the command dot so dot represents current directory followed by backslash bin and then windows and then kafka hyphen console hyphen consumer dot bat so this is the file that we are going to use to consume or read the events from the kafka topic followed by the topic name that is topic hyphen example and then followed by followed by the kafka server url right bootstrap hyphen server and then local host colon 9092 and hit enter well in order to read or consume the events from the kafka topic we basically use this command all right and right now you can see this command is not reading the events from the kafka topic because we need to read these events from the beginning right in order to do that we need to specify from beginning attribute in this command well let me just press the control c here and say yes and here just pass one more attribute that is hyphen hyphen from hyphen beginning okay we are going to basically read the events from the beginning right and then hit enter and there we go you can able to see these are the events that are present in a kafka topic right and this is the command which we are using to read these events from the kafka topic okay here you can see we have used producer to produce the event and write those event to the kafka topic and here we are using consumer to consume or read these events from the kafka topic all right great well let me recap what we have done in this lecture we have downloaded and installed the kafka server in a windows machine next we have started zookeeper service as well as kafka broker service next we have created a topic to store uh, events by using this command next we have you know use the producer to produce the events and write those events to the kafka topic next we have used this command that is consumer command to read or consume those events from the kafka topic all right so these are the five important steps we have performed in this lecture all right i am going to attach this kafka notes file in this lecture so that whenever required you can go ahead and check out these commands and steps all right great i will see you in the next lecture